Dear Uncle Tom, I have some exciting news I wish to share with you. I think for the first time in a while, I have found a girl that truly makes me happy. A few Sundays back, while I was attending church, I met this girl named Camille. What caught my attention was the level of etiquette and elegance she carried throughout our entire conversation. To my surprise, it only took us a couple of dates before we truly started falling for each other. It feels as if with time, the bond between us only grows stronger. As bad as this sounds, uncle, I think this might be the first girl I am attracted to for other than physical reasons. Apart from making me an all around better person, Camille has helped me in strengthening my relationship with God. Not only has she motivated me to attend church, she's also demonstrated the effect an individual can have on people when they live out the word of God. For some reason, I can't forget the first conversation we shared. It was quite fascinating. We spoke about how some people tend to see God as a noun rather than a verb. It was at that moment I realized I was one of those people. I remember first being introduced to Christianity. I would take everything too literal. I never really gave much thought to what I was told. I sort of took things how they were presented and moved on. Now, when I think of God, I think of an action. Something good I can do to better someone's day. These past weeks, I began to practice what I preach. And I can tell you with certainty, uncle, it has truly made me a better person. It even thrills me when I get the opportunity to make someone's day better. In a strange way, it's almost as if I benefit from being of service to others. Have you ever thought about God in this way, uncle? Or do you think I've completely lost it? Being with Camille has truly shifted my perspective on the church. I can even notice my relationship with my mother benefiting from it. Just the other day, she told me she hadn't seen me that happy in a while. And to be honest, I think it's even wearing off on her. I haven't heard her nag in more than two days, if you can believe that. All jokes aside, uncle, things are looking pretty good. Camille invited me over last week so she could formally introduce me to her family. I have to admit, I was pretty nervous to meet them. If that wasn't bad enough, she failed to mention she had two older brothers that were twice my size. They had to be two of the most intimidating guys I had ever seen. To my surprise though, both brothers were very welcoming and kind. The person I truly had to get past was her father. Being raised in a strict Christian household, her father was extremely strict on Camille, almost like a dr drill sergeant. Although he was very intimidating, after a few, a few glasses of scotch, getting to know each other, her father gave me the thumbs up. This is where I need some advice, uncle. Although it hasn't been long, I am beginning to think of marriage. You know how much your opinion means to me. And if you think I'm rushing into things too quickly, I want you to let me know. I think at this point, uncle, I'm starting to discover the power of faith. I feel as if I finally have the ability to look back at my actions and recognize when I've turned my back to God. Before, I was clueless of the impact my actions had. An example of this would be my behavior with women and a fornication that resulted in me seeking to satisfy a simple pleasure. I failed to recognize that I was misusing a gift from God. I was only thinking about myself in the moment and no one else. Since my religion has strengthened, I have learned to handle life, life's pleasures with more delicacy. In doing so, uncle, it has eased my ability to have a good time
while maintaining my moral compass. I think Camille has truly changed me for the better. Things weren't how they used to be. Before, I would be annoyed at the little things. It's almost as if I had a, this pessimistic attitude I would drag on from day to day. After being so content, I hope I never go back to that pessimistic attitude. Do you think that if I prioritize my religion and family that I should be fine? Or is there more to it I fail to recognize? Thank you, Uncle, for being such a great listener. You are truly the best. Love, your dearest nephew.